After jailbreak, encounter, CME activists tortured an MP jail National Human Rights Commission. Prisoners, their relatives, advocates and activists had alleged in the months after the October 31st encounter near Bhopal that 21 CME activists, facing trial in other cases, were beaten up, kept in solitary confinement made to chant slogans like Jai Shri Ram and denied basic needs like adequate food and sleep. After the jailbreak by Simi activists and their killing in a subsequent encounter in 2016, other Simi activists still lodged in Bhopal Central Jail were subjected to beating and torture by jail officials, an investigation team of the National Human Rights Commission NHRC, has found. Prisoners, their relatives, advocates and activists had alleged in the months after the October 31st encounter near Bhopal that 21 CME activists, facing trial in other cases, were beaten up, kept in solitary confinement, made to chant slogans like Jai Shri Ram and denied basic needs like adequate food and sleep. In June 2017, the Commission sent a team to investigate the complaint after family members of 21 Underfield prisoners called on it on May 24, 2017, and complained about alleged systematic harassment, religious persecution, torture, denial of medical treatment and intimidation and harassment of family members during their visits to the jail. The team interacted with prisoners, family members, jail authorities, lawyers and social activists and submitted its report, which has now become available. A second team from NRHC visited Bhopal in December 2017 for a follow-up after allegations that mental harassment and physical torture had resumed after a brief respite. Prisoners had alleged that they were illegally kept in solitary confinement in cells measuring 5 by 8 feet, were allowed out of their cells for only a few minutes a day for filling water and cleaning the area outside the cells, and that cells were hot and humid and without fans, all of which caused them behavioral disorders like anxiety, depression and frustration, resulting in some prisoners turning aggressive. The 24-page inquiry report noted that barring one instance, there was nothing to show that the prisoners attacked or manhandled jail officials during searches. The jail officials had no answer to injury marks when photographs were shown to them. They tried to explain that force was necessary to keep the prisoners under control and maintain discipline and order in the jail. Therefore, the direct inference is that the so-called resistance slash refusal slash non-cooperation by prisoners during search is nothing but a made-up grounds to justify torture and beating of prisoners, the report said. It said the injury marks could have resulted only from assault in jail, and recorded graphic descriptions by prisoners like how they were held aloft by hand and legs in helicopter position and beaten using flour mill belts lathy and strips of rubber. They were woken up at night to ask Kara yet, all well, to deny them sleep. Regarding the complaint about inadequate food, the report noted that food was being served as per the jail manual but the prisoners could not buy eatables from the canteen, a facility they enjoyed before, which took a visible toll on their health and the problem was compounded by inadequate health treatment. The NHRC team observed that the prisoners' allegation that they were forced to shout anti-religious slogans and beaten up by the jail staff when they refused seems more probable because the assaults were corroborated by the medical ticket of the prisoners. Referring to prisoners' assertion that the staff did not harass them during Ramzone, the report said this admission, by prisoners makes it even more probable that they are not making false allegations or exaggeration their ill-treatment. Shalna Muhammad Javed, Ambreen Muhammad Zubar and Farad Sana Muhammad Adil were among family members of prisoners who repeated the allegations in an interaction with the media in Bhopal on Saturday. 
They alleged that after the mandatory checks and photographs, they were made to remove their veils by staff who took their photographs on their private mobile phones. DG, Jail, Sanjay Chaudhary said the jail authorities had denied all the allegations. He said the NHRC report was not final and that the state government had sent its reply on February 7. Bhopal Jail Superintendent Dinesh Nargave said, These are pressure tactics to extract more facilities and concessions. The district judge and other judicial officers who regularly visit jail premises did not find anything amiss. There is no inhuman treatment. Everything is in accordance with law and court orders, he said. The security of prisoners is also important. When asked about allegations that the Quran was thrown away during searches, he said that on the contrary it was the jail staff who gave copies to nearly 700 Muslim prisoners. About the allegation that advocates are not allowed to meet their clients, Nargave said all under trials are allowed to meet lawyers in a particular room, but Simi activists wanted meetings in a separate room. He also alleged that the prisoners want to offer community namats and access to dry fruits and mutton that we can't provide. Family members and advocates said they feared their conversations with the prisoners were recorded. If our legal defense is known to the other side, we won't be able to defend ourselves in court because witnesses could be tutored in advance. Activist Mad Hurry said the NHRC report was hard to get and accused the commission of not doing enough after getting the first inquiry report.